Hey everyone, I know what you're thinking. Um, that wasn't a long break. Well, uh, I fixed my software. Okay, so um, what I'm doing is I'm kind of withdrawing from my previous approach to chess. I want to come back bigger and better and stronger. I want to come back at 1700. And to do that, i am uh, revised my repertoire as I posted on the uh, Chess Bootcamp substack, which you can go along and, and have a look at. Uh, and I'm going to be launching something interesting uh, with that very soon as well that you can support. Now, uh, with the white pieces against e4, so I've abandoned the Freddy Krueger repertoire, which was, you know, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and, you know, all of this f5 stuff. And I've gone with Alakine's defense. Now, Alakine is not um, thought to be very good at the very top level. But it works very well at um, intermediate. And with my goal of going to getting to 2000, um, I've just gone by the Lee Chess Players database and see what does best against E4. And guess what? Here we are. And um, I mean, what I like about it, let's, let's, let's pull up the Lee Chess database, right? The Lee Chess Explorer. So here's the Lee Chess Explorer. I've got it set to 2000 only. I'm going to take out. So this is rapid, right? Rapid and above. Okay. Um, F2 flip and against E4. Knight F6 scores 50%. Okay. There you go. It's better by a clear couple of percent than anything else on there. Knight C6 um, is in second place at 48, but there's nothing else that scores 48. The Sicilian scores 47. Interestingly, even at 2000 level, you're getting more E5s than you are getting Sicilians, just 32% against 30. But this scores best, Knight F6, okay? And look, I mean, there's... Every line is healthy, therefore black. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm also using a different uh, method to practice my openings as well. In fact, I'm going away from the Lee Chess studies. And I'm using a new tool, which was recommended to me a few months ago. And I've started using it a bit more seriously because I'm starting to get a bit more serious. Okay. And I'm going to show you how I use that tool right now. Um, and I'm going to use this uh, this example game from Jaded, which I lost. I got checkmated on move 11. Okay. Really important. Okay. So this is what happened. So Jaded from South Africa, 1562 rated, um, plays E4. And we have the other kind, right? Advance, you flip the knight over to D5. There's no really no other move. Yeah, I mean, you can put it back on G8, according to the engine. Duh, right? In fact, knight E4 is even playable, according to the engine. Okay, we have um, D4 from white, and against D4, you always play, play D6. Okay, and now out comes down. I believe this is an inaccuracy. No, it's not, according to the engine. Okay, so here I brought out my bishop. So, you know, at this point, I'm kind of out of theory, but I'll, I'll show you what I would do to practice this. Okay, bishop comes out, pinning the knight. It's 0.5 in white's favor. Maybe that was slightly inaccurate. And now this is an inaccuracy. You can see the eval bar there swing slightly, attacking my knight. Now, here we have a situation with the bishop looking at that. Now, I think that my opponent was completely prepared for this. So if you are an E4 player with the white pieces, you'll need to pay attention to this, okay? Because this is devious. Okay, the machine actually says D takes E5 is good because that's a discovered defense by the queen. That's not a bad idea. In fact, D, E is very often played, so that might be the way to go, but we will check that in a minute. Okay, I did not do that. I flip the knight back, which is very often what you do when this bishop comes out. Okay, but apparently not in this exact situation. Because there's a trick. And the trick is bishop takes f7 check. Boom! Badder, boom. King takes. 
Knight g5 check. Stop me if you've seen this before. Okay, shades of the von Hennig here. Okay, and I thought no, <laughs> g8. If if it's safe to go to g8, it's usually a good idea. Get the king closer towards a corner. Um, yeah, and king g8 is actually even better than king e8. Queen takes my bishop. Okay, and it's starting to look a little bit hairy here. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I want to defend my position. I bring my queen up here trying to trade off the queens. Okay. e6 now knocks my queen away. Knight comes in to win the rook. And I develop my knight here. And what's the final move of the game? Knight h6 is mate. Knight guards this. Now, I don't know if that was all prepared. Uh, my opponent did not spend long on these moves at all. His lo longest think was seven seconds on any of that. He absolutely blitzed it out. What a weapon against Alakines. Now, chess book. This is what I'm going to be using to practice. Now, there's a few things to be said about chess book. First of all, this default theme is gash it's horrible so you go into your settings you change the appearance to you can go to lee chess mode you can go to chess.com mode i don't i don't like these these pieces i much prefer these these classic ones so i'm going for lee chess mode okay right let's go back now we'll we'll be looking at chess book a lot more in future videos so i've built my repertoire here okay for white and black and i've signed up for the full thing Okay, um, you can use it for free, but it limits you, I think, to 100 moves. Uh, but it's very, very well worth um, buying this as your main tool. Um, so it costs, you know, a fraction of what a, like a chessable course would cost or chessable pro. Okay, so let's go through exactly what I will do to hone this. So I'm going in as black, okay? And you can either do practice moves, okay, and it's 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 also doing the spaced repetition, which Lee Chess does as well, but for your whole repertoire, okay? Or browse or add new moves, or you can just start playing, okay? Start making moves. So this is this is what happened in the game, right? Da -da. And then his knight comes out. Now I've already prepared for this, and this is where I'd forgotten my preparation, right? The Albert variation, okay, and um is, is what I will do from here, okay? So, oops, so you can't draw arrows. Okay, so the Albert variation, G6, we, we get out of all of that stuff. And you can see here, there's a little link that says Analyze. You click that and it will pull up this position on Lee Chess, okay? And you can see here, so G6 here just scores 48 for black. Other options are available, of course. And um, so let's see, what did I do? I, I pinned the knight, didn't I? And then this bishop came out here. Okay, and you can see after knight b6, very common, 76% win rate. So but we're going to avoid all of that. Okay, so what I could have done, if, 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 my, if my continuation had been indeed bishop to g, uh, g4, then I would drill that. But So what I'm going to do is now what I would like to do by the way and and, and um, chessbook does give you a way to send uh, submit requests um, I'd like to be able to kind of play on from that position and drill every variation from that position okay um, and currently I can't find a way a good way to do this it's got how to play from here and it which I don't find particularly useful. So I'd like a drill from this position option, please. Chessbook. Um, so let's see how it, how it goes. Uh, bishop c4 is common here. And, and now it's absolutely fine to flip back and attack the bishop. Okay. So let me show you as well quickly. Let's say you just go back to the start and you can just go practice moves. Oh, a specific opening. Hello. 
Which repertoire do you want to practice? Black? Okay. Hello. Here we go. Ah. So it does have it. So go e4, knight f6. Wow. Oh, this is really good. This is really good. Well, look at this. Okay. And we're going to go e5. And I've got 41 moves due for review from here. That's interesting. Okay. And I'm going to do this. And we'll just... Let's do practice 41 moves. Okay, so let me let me show you. So it's playing through the moves. Okay. So this is on the deep side. And um, so... Okay. So I think, obviously, you know, bringing out the bishop makes sense. But I'm going to go for a hint. Central pawns are currently flimsy, so let's prepare to attack the center with pieces hypermodern style. Okay, g6. Okay. And there we go. And it's, it's telling me if I'm doing things right. I guess I can castle. There we go. All right. Um, is it the same deal? Okay, and you can see the first time it does it, it actually shows you arrows to say what to play. And then you drill it. Okay, so there. There we go. That's the exact position we just had, isn't it? Okay, and this is all quite normal. Nope, not in that case. Okay, so with the three pawns, I can develop the knight. Bishop then comes here. And give me a hint. So I've, I've written these for myself, these hints. Trade. Uh, I'm guessing that. And I'm guessing pins. Develop with check. Oh, yeah, pointing out the holes in Black's position. Yes, I remember writing that. And then the queen goes to here. Okay. So there we go. It's starting all to make sense. Bishop comes here. Um, I want to get my bishop out, don't I? There you go. And that, good. So that's just kind of natural, right? And and here we are, just drilling. Okay. That is what we got. And bishop here. And now I can flip the knight back, because we just saw it. Okay, bishop retreats. In for a penny. We're doing that. Hmm. Not trading. Develop the other knight. No. Show me the answer. Okay. Um, okay. So now what I need to do is I need to write myself a note for that. And Chessbook will remember that I got that one wrong. So it will kind of flag it to be reviewed more in the future. It's very clever. Okay, so what is the point of this move? So we're going from kind of one move back. So they've created this and they created a big hole on e4. A big hole on e4. Let's control it with, with development, right? And that's it. And then I can say continue practicing. And okay, knight comes out. Controlling that, there you go. Feels natural. Uh, take back with a C pawn. Either recapture is playable. Okay, and then when the knight comes out, it's saying first practice here, so it's uh, showing me the arrows. So we've had a trade, knight comes out, G6. If the bishop's straight out there, I can do this. Now, because if he recaptures, we trade queens and he loses castling rights. Okay. What? Okay. Well, apparently it's played. Okay. So he's kicked me back and then that. Now, I've got a feeling that knight c6 here is a mistake because one of your knights can get trapped. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, after d4, it's d6. So I'm, I'm just boom, boom, boom. And this repetition is just the way to go. Hmm. Um, defend with a discovered attack. Because now our bishop's looking at c5, right? Continue practicing. And there we go, right? Plus, I've got it on my phone. And so now, instead of pulling up a game or a puzzle rush or something on my phone, I've, I've just got two minutes and sat in the car waiting right, for something. I can just pull up chessbook and so practice. And it will say, okay, what about this position, right? So I'm, I've got this set to um, one in 100 games, okay? So it's gonna default to positions that I'm likely to see in um, what, at minimum one in 100 games, which isn't very deep, okay? Um, but shortly then I can, once I've done this, I can set it now to intermediate. So if I set, in fact, I'll probably set it to intermediate right now. Why not? Or even, you know, we'll do advanced next. Okay. And so when I go back, now my black repertoire, for example, is 72% complete. Okay. So, and now you can go to your biggest gap, for example. Okay. So this is now stuff that I'm likely to see in 150 games. Okay. So attacking my knight. I think it's this. Oh, I'm guessing here. I'm guessing knight b6 transposes. Okay, so it's so it's not that. Um, knight b6 transposes. Okay. Interesting. And then I can go uh, save my progress. All right. Go to my biggest gap again. This this is how you build your repertoire in the first place. Surely that's that. Okay, save. Go to your biggest gap. Right. Okay. Well, this is um, this pawn on d five is not defended. Can I do this? That defends it twice. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is what's not. So here I just click analyze. I, I'm, I'm not messing around here. I just go straight to lead chess. And every move. Okay, there's a couple of options. E6 or knight b6. Which does best? Slightly knight b6. Um, engine says e6 is slightly preferable. Um... I think knight b6 is is the more natural and the one I'm most likely to remember because it, it doesn't block in, you know, if we put this pawn here, it blocks in that bishop. So here I might just go, I'll go with knight b6, okay? Okay, they're saying bishop b5 and I'm gonna see this one in 266 games. Okay, so bishop b5 check. And then again, you've got knight c6 to block, but I, I'll just click analyze every time. Knight c6 is really, yeah, the most played move, and you can see it's not, not that common. Knight c6, computer says knight c6 as well, so I just go back, and I play knight c6, and save it to my repertoire, yeah, and just build from there, okay? Um, but I think what, what I'll probably do is, is just kind of drill, drill what I've got now until it's second nature, and then you can go a level deeper. If, if you want to, if you want to start going, you know, five, six, seven moves deep into opening repertoire, which you really don't need to do unless you're gunning for 2000 rating, which is what I've decided to do. So there you go. So um, one very, very unpleasant game. But now we know what to do in future, right? This is all fine. This is all I remembered this. I remembered up to here. And then I played this, which is not what we're going to do in future. The computer says g6, and the Albert variation is exactly what we're going to do in future. So there you go. So um, yeah, do sign up for Chessbook, and I will put my link, my affiliate link to Chessbook. And if you sign up by, after clicking my link, then um, that will help support me and support the channel, and we can keep doing this. So 
Yes, the long road to 2000 continues after this. So I will see you very shortly for a game. Okay, take care.